Yo, today we're gonna make a shoulder pad, kind of like, uh, let's see here, kind of like this, and we're not gonna worry too much about, I guess, dimensional accuracy, I'm just gonna get you guys making a shape that you can then adjust afterwards. So let's get into it. The first thing we're gonna do is the kind of bounding box of the shoulder pad. So let's select our front plane for a sketch. And let's create a line here and a line here. Like this, and let's create a vertical that we can mirror around. So we'll select this vertical. Why can't I select it? Oh, one sec. There we go. Okay. Select this vertical. Select these two. And we will. Do, 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 do create a mirror mirror line here okay so now we got two lines let's go create arc three-point arc bang 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 this and then we can define the width of our shoulder pad like 60 millimeters and the height if you go if you press D for dimension click the bottom line drag up right click and go pick circle arc tangent and select the top then you can get the overall height of the shoulder pad as a dimension so that looks fine we'll extrude this back like I think 10 and then let's create another sketch on the bottom plane and press P for project Get these two outside points. And then let's go line here. L for line, line here. Click the equal constraint and make them both equal. And then create another three point arc across these two and drag it up till you see the little tangent sign form. Now we can also create a line off the bottom to close our profile and then again dimension the height. So click off, right click, arc tangent. There you go. And I want this one to be a little shorter I think. So I'll go 65 here and extrude it up 10. Hmm, I actually want it to be quite a bit shorter. How about 55? That looks okay. The next step is to create the rounded connection here. And we're going to do that by creating a new sketch here. Press P for project. And now we want to offset this. So if I press O for offset, you're going to notice that it tries to offset the entire profile. But all I want is the main arc. So if I highlight the bottom line, and press X to make it construction and click off. Now I press O for offset, click the top, and you'll notice that just this arc is changing size. And that's exactly what I want. And I think 3.5, negative, maybe negative five. That's okay. And we'll finish that. Do the same thing down here. So create sketch, project, construction and offset and negative five again and one thing we need to do is close both of these profiles so create a line here and then do the same thing with the other sketch now you can see that's closed and so is that Perfect. And now we want to create a third sketch on this plane that goes through the center of our piece. The right plane, I guess. And press P for project. Grab this arc. And also project this arc. And now we want a line that comes up a little bit. Press escape to get out of it. And then also a line over here that is purely construction. And 
you're going to see why in a second. We're going to make an arc, a three point arc. And we're going to make that arc tangent to our flat construction line and tangent to this vertical. And now if you finish that sketch, you can see the shape that we've created a little box for. And we can actually loft that. So we're going to click loft and these two profiles. And that's not the shape we want. But if you click the rails selection, it's like the arc. Now you can see that we've really got the shape we want. And I think it's looking a little narrow to me. So let's go to our very first sketch and change the width to maybe 70. That's kind of beefier. I'm into that. So that's the main shoulder pad. I'm going to add a bunch of spikes, I think, along this. So how do I do that? Let's go mid plane. And let's deselect everything, actually. Mid plane here and here. And then we're going to make a horn down here. And then we're going to pattern it all the way around. So we need to create that pattern path. So let's create a sketch on that mid plane. P for project the path and then get rid of this bottom line by making it construction. And now go over to your browser and make that plane visible again because we still need it. We're going to create another sketch on that plane. We're going to come over here and now we're going to make the horns. So let's project this little dot and let's click L for line and make the horn profile. Just kind of whatever you think looks cool. I think that should do. We're going to revolve this now. So finish sketch, revolve, select your axis. And then over in your operation, you need to make this a new body. So new body for the spike. I think I want the point to be a little longer. A little bit more spike. And I want to make sure that this line is horizontal. Very important. OK. So let's go create pattern, pattern on path. And make sure your type is bodies. Get that body get the path, you're going to get an error, but as soon as you start dragging around, you're going to be fine. Now, if we just go all the way around the loop to this last dot, see that the spike doesn't do what we want. And that's because the orientation needs to be set to path direction. And then our quantity, uh, nine? Sure, nine seems okay. Or ten. Ten. Make sure your distance type is extent and not spacing, or you're going to have a nightmare getting this right. And OK. Now I've got a bunch of little spikes. Kind of cool. Now if we come over to our browser first, and let's hide the sketch. So click on the little eye, get rid of it. And then I think we also want to get rid of these spikes that are hanging off, because they don't look right. So we'll go Selection Priority. To body, click that spike, control click that spike, right click, and remove. And now they are gone. And then go back and make your selections all again so that you can actually click on things. Okay, so this is most of the shoulder pad. Let's just put some finishing details in. I think the first thing I want to do is combine the spikes. Or do I? No, let's not combine the spikes. Let's make a couple little fillets. So F and click here. Let's make it a, yeah, five looks okay. Control click here for five, enter, and then press S for your toolbox, CH for chamfer, and select these edges here, and maybe a one mil chamfer. Seems a little big, 0.5. And five seems good. I think I also want F for fillet, a fillet here, maybe just one mil. 
and then if you go back to all the way before we patterned our spike and you detail this one, all of the others will detail. So let's just kind of put some fillets on it. And sure, that looks fine. Now, in our timeline, just go to the end. And look at that, bunch of detailed spikes. I think we're pretty happy with this, or at least I am. So let's go ahead and color it in. If you press A for appearance, and open up the bodies on your browser, let's shift select all of the horns, and let's find a metal for it. Uh, I think a brass, a polished brass, probably going to look pretty good. And then let's make the shoulder pad this anodized blue. Make sure you're on body selection, drag the blue over, change to face selection, and then you can actually drag a different color onto this little pad and also this fillet here. Little tedious, but bear with me. Okay, pretty cool. Let's render this thing. So get out of that. Go design, render. Pick an angle that you're into. I actually don't like this fillet here. I'm gonna go back into the design find where that was, and I'm just going to delete it. Now I need to go back to appearance, faces, and bring the red back in. Yeah, I didn't like that fillet at all. Okay, get a nice angle, bring up your scene settings. And let's actually maybe make this a warm light. Warm light, if you click position, you can move the light kind of to back here a little bit. And let's up the brightness a touch. And give this an in-canvas render. And there you go, we've made a shoulder pad. Now that I see it rendering, I actually think that that um, this step is way too big. So we can go into the sketches we made right before this loft. And we can just change this to make it two. And that's going to, oh, it didn't break everything. OK. And also this sketch. Negative two. Yeah, I think that. Ah, we went too far the other way. Okay, last touch. Three point five. And three point five. There we go. Ta-da! Alrighty, hopefully you learned a bunch through this tutorial. Um, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Hopefully the shoulder pad turned out for you. Hopefully you learned something. See you next time. Peace.